Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I want to talk a little bit about blacksmith finishes or uh, different types of coatings that you can put on your steel after you're done with your forging. So these are the three main finishes that I'll put on my material after I am done forging. This is the least used as this is more for like wood finishes and things like that. I'll put this on my hammer handles and of such. Uh, I've just started using this and I like it quite a bit. Um, you know, take that as with what you will, grain of salt. Some guys like this stuff pretty well, others not so much. Uh, so far I'm liking it here, but I figure I'd just show it in this video just to add a little bit of diversity of some finishes that you can use because you can also use this on steel itself. So, boiled linseed oil. It has taken me a while to come around to the boiled linseed oil thing. But when applied, when the material is at a black heat, it really darkens the surface of the steel very nicely, as you can see with this little bottle opener here. Uh, it really does darken up the surface of the steel in a nice even coat. With that being said, it also holds up pretty well from what I have seen with my tests that I've been using it over the last several months. Uh, it holds up pretty well against rust as far as rust prevention. Now none of these items, usually none of my items are outdoor items and in which case I would still recommend paint. Uh, you know, you just can't really get around that these days. If you're going to have something outside, most likely it needs to be painted. What I was using prior to the boil linseed oil was coconut oil. Now, this coconut oil will create a darkened finish, but it's a little more finicky as to the temperature. You have to put the coconut oil in order for you to get a dark finish on at about a red heat. And you gotta keep applying it until it cools down and gets down into a darker heat. And then it'll really build up a really nice black finish on it. Now, this is what I used to season my frying skillets with. Whenever I made frying skillets, I don't do that anymore. Um, but anytime I need to season, you name it, whether it be a utensil set or just about anything you can think of that would be like a cast iron type thing that'll be touching food, I use coconut oil. Do not use boiled linseed oil as it is poisonous to you and bad for your health on food grade items. Use coconut oil, vegetable oil, or canola oil. One of those three oils. Do not use boiled linseed oil on food grade products. So the finish, and then last but not least, let's talk about this, you know, the paste wax. This paste finishing wax, this actually goes on at no heat at all. You just rub this on the surface of the material. It comes in a can like you see here, and it is a paste. So let me go ahead and open this up and get this opened up. And as you can see, it's just a paste. And what you would do with this paste is take a little bit of towel, if you will, and I'll show you how it works on this. This has already been coated in boiled linseed oil, but you just get up a little bit of this paste wax. It's really soft, and you would just wax this thing down, basically. And this is a lot like an automotive wax in a way uh, that you would wipe on your car and then buff off. It's the same thing. Uh, if you take this after you've put this on like this and then take it to a buffing wheel, like a loose leaf buff, it will give it quite the sheen to it and almost make it look like it's a painted surface. So that might be a way that you'd like to do it too as well. Um, you know, as you can see, that's gotten just a wee bit more sheen to it now because I've done the paste wax. My favorite of the type of oils that I use on a daily is I really, really enjoy the coconut oil. And I don't have any here with me, otherwise I would have put it in this video. I don't have any here with me, but beeswax is one of my favorite finishes of all. Uh, I love the smell of beeswax, and it just, you know, it's got a nice aroma to it. Uh, it's pretty much healthy for anything in food grade items, and it goes on nicely at a fairly low heat. So, so there's just some types of uh, finishes that you may want to consider 
in your shop. Let me know what type of finish you actually use in your shop in the comment section down below. And like always, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.